Hey folks, Matt Atkinson here. Uh, we're gonna give you a tip today for clearing thick overgrown areas to make deer come straight to your stands. Um, as you can see, around us there's high goldenrod fields and high grass. What we wanna do today is we wanna cut paths through the fields to make good shooting lanes and also good pl places for deer to travel because deer are lazy. Um, as we have here, we have a piece of equipment. It's a Kubota with a big brush hog at the back. If you people don't have these kind of equipment at home, you can either use a big heavy weedy whacker or you can use a handheld brush hog. How you doing folks? It's uh, November 4th, first week of November. Um, seen a bunch of does earlier this morning, some bucks. We had uh, about two or three bucks that came through a natural scrape. The one buck came in, my cameraman grunted, the buck came around right in shooting lane. He was curious of where that grunt was coming from. so he came towards us, I had a nice shot right in front of me, took him about 20 yards out, we just got to wait, sit tight, see if we can recover him, he's probably about 80 yards across the field, we'll give it a little bit of time, maybe go out and have a cup of coffee, come back and see if we can recover him. Hey folks, how you doing? Dan Cowan. First week of November. First week this year that I took a vacation because I know it's the heat of the rut. Seen a bunch of does early this morning. Seen a couple couple four pointers, little spikes. He came right into it. My cameraman Pete Grunit came right into it. Perfect shot. Found about 100, 
125 yards, recovered it, and here he is.